Hi everyone, my name is Christine and I'm one of your other head orientation leaders. During this segment, we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth about orientation and what some of the things you're going to be doing during orientation week. So, before we get started, we want to make sure you have a couple of things with you before we start orientation. We want to make sure you finish Think About It, which is one of our programs, and we want to make sure you bring sneakers. Closed-toed shoes are very important during orientation week. Bring a raincoat or anything that's going to help you during varying weather some sunscreen and some sunglasses, as well as a water bottle because we might be getting physically active during orientation week. So during orientation, which starts August 23rd, you'll be moving in during that day. So get excited for that as you'll be moving into your first dorm. So move in uh, August 23rd, as I said, you'll be meeting your RAs, which are your resident assistants. They will be there to give you your fobs and your keys to your new room. So during move-in, as you can see, we have a couple of people here that can help you move your things into your room. There's going to be orientation leaders, there's going to be RAs, as well as mighty movers. So after you check in at Centennial Hall, you'll be able to go check in in Gateway, which is one of the newest buildings here on campus. After that, you'll be getting some paperwork, you'll be getting some IDs, and you will be able to meet some of our wonderful orientation leaders. There's going to be 52 of them running around in our tie day. They are excited to talk to you. And for commuters coming here for the first time, we'll have a luncheon for you as well. It's going to be at 12 o'clock in 408 Baker. So at orientation, like I said, there are tons of orientation leaders running around ready to help. And you will also be getting your very own small group, which will have four or five people in it. And during that time, feel free to ask any questions, talk to the new people that you're going to be meeting that day, as well as your orientation leader who is going to be there as a great resource for you. So Saturday of service is one of our favorite things here at ESF. ESFers love to do service. So during 2013 to 2014, we did about 74,000 hours of service. That's a lot. And we log a ton more during our Saturday of service this year. So we go to tons of different field sites, including some state parks here in Syracuse, as well as plenty of other sites where you get to meet your teammates, as well as some community leaders. So there are tons of other orientation events as well, some of which are the ones listed here. Hi the Hypnotist Kevin Hurley, really funny, it's a really great show. The Underground Legacy Poets are a really great group, really excited to meet them again. Uh, there's More to My Story, which is one of Erica's favorites as you heard in the last segment. Playfair, Convocation, Quad Olympics, there's a lot of things to get excited for here at ESF Orientation. So there are different sessions um, coming up after orientation. They're for the Ropes Challenge course. It'll be about a week after orientation, and you guys will get split up by floors, and you'll be heading over to the Ropes Challenge course. There are tons of things to do there. There are high ropes, there are low ropes, and it's a really great team building activity. So there are lots of paperwork to do. We ought to make sure we do that before we partake in this activity. But once you do that, you're ready to do the Ropes course. And at the ropes course, we do lots of team building activities and we work together to really learn about our community and learn about each other. So what else needs to be done before you guys show up in August? So there is a summer to-do list. We want to make sure we get all those things done so that it's smooth sailing before you guys show up for orientation. So we've got to make sure you guys send in your final transcripts as well as finish your Think About It program as well as your health forms. So I hope everyone is still checking their emails and continue to do that until you get here and it's going to be there throughout your entire time here at ESF, so keep up with the information that we're sending you guys. So orientation is a really great time to meet new people, meet your new professors, meet your new orientation leaders, and I hope you guys are getting excited. And we hope you're keeping up with your checklist. You can check that out. Um, that's on the ESF webpage. And I hope you're getting familiar with all the websites that ESF uses as far as the MySlice, SU Mail, the My ESF Portal. Get yourself familiar with those because we'll be using those every day here at ESF. So everyone should be getting excited. We're only about a month away. And thank you guys for joining me for this segment. That's all we have for today. And I'll see you guys really soon.